Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hey everyone, Joshua Hinlin here, and today I am super excited to return to Billund, Denmark, the home of LEGO, to bring you a full tour of the LEGO house here in Billund. We're going to be showing you all of the new amazing LEGO fan models, all of the new interactive areas, the incredible tree of creativity, and so much more as we explore LEGO house. Let's take a look. Once inside the lobby of LEGO House, you're greeted by the massive LEGO store when you first walk in, and then you also have these wonderful models representing the different generations of LEGO ownership over the years. And not only are these really well-built models, but it's also just really cool to see how they've represented generations playing together with LEGO, which is something that families have experienced all over the world. It's also kind of a cool look into the way that models deteriorate over time and you can see how smooth these bricks are on the very top of the head here. So many people have touched those pieces since Lego House opened so you see some of the work that has to be done to preserve these models as well. One of the most incredible models without a doubt here at Lego House is the massive tree of creativity with 6.3 million bricks in this. On each of the branches as you go up the tree are different themes and sets from Lego history. You also have different early sets and names from early Lego history represented in the trunk of the tree as well. So let's start our journey up the tree. There's something here for everyone as you make your way around the tree. Closest to us, we have Town and Train with all of the classics like the police station, the harbor, the planes, and of course, tons of fantastic LEGO trains. Further in the distance on the far branch, you have Castle, one of my all-time favorite theme themes represented. You've got old Yellow Castle and then some of the 90s stuff and even closer sets to today as well. So really great stuff. We'll kind of walk up here as we start going higher into the middle of LEGO House. You start to see the Friends theme represented here, a very influential, long-lived theme here, and tons of amazing colors. That's something that it's very famous for. Lots of great city building and pieces here as well. Then we come into the Pirates Imperial themes, which are just amazing. I absolutely love these sets. You've got some of the old kind of harbor area, the pirate battle, of course. It's not a pirate layout without the battle. And then some of the islanders on the far branch as well. Now we finish making our way up the stairs and we can walk around the tree a little bit. You come to the space section. You have classic space. You've got kind of more realistic with a space shuttle taking off in the background. Some of the Mars mission stuff represented. Something for everyone in every generation of LEGO fan here as well. One last fun thing I want to point out if we come around here is the monkeys. And these monkeys are something that you see all over the tree. There's just fun little characters here. They're having a bit of a picnic. Downstairs, there's more with some Danish stuff as well. So just add some play to the tree. And then as you get to the ceiling, you have the giant yellow crane. At the top of the Tree of Creativity, you enter the Masterpiece Gallery. This has three massive dinosaur models surrounded by lots of custom LEGO fan models on the walls around us. This is the giant Duplo dinosaur model, and of course you've got the main model, but then some of my favorites are actually the smaller models around them. So the closest one here is a freshly hatched baby dinosaur. I love the use of the shovel piece there uh, for its kind of claws. And then over here you have one just kind of popping out of the egg as well, so that's super fun too. And then as we make our way to the middle dinosaur, this is your system brick dinosaur. So this is the one that might kind of be most recognizable to most fans using the classic Lego system pieces. We have one enjoying a nice steak there. Looks like a delicious meal. And then of course one just starting to kind of make its way out of the egg. You can see the eye popping out. On the far side is actually one of the most unique models. This is a giant Technic dinosaur. So. Technic is not something you see built as often as a system, but obviously you can see the possibilities are incredible here. I love the, uh, on this left side here with the kind of ice cream that the dinosaur is holding, it even has a face on there. The little adorable baby Technic dino as well. And then the one in the egg is just starting to pop out the bottom with its feet there. So all three of these super unique and incredible in their own way. But then the highlight in this room for many people is the fan models that are featured here. Now for people who have seen some of our past LEGO House videos, we've shown some models in these cases before, but they always switch out every year, so every time we come here and make a video... Are you guys from Beyond the Brick? Oh whoa, my gosh! Whoa. I can't believe it! You guys are here in Denmark? That's crazy! <laughs> 
I know, they let us in. I've been wanting to meet you guys forever. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, sir. <laughs> as, as you check out these custom models here, there is tons to look at and appreciate. And like I said, it's always switching out. So these Beatles models here is from a builder named Gwyneth, and we've actually uh, featured some of her work before. Really amazing stuff. Another builder that's been featured several times on Beyond the Brick is Barbara with her amazing Lego plant life and flower models. This is amazing stuff as well. Here we come back to the Technic idea, and this is a giant dinosaur model by uh, Damien, kind of just getting that head sculpture piece down really nicely. This one here by Sarah is a model that we have featured on Beyond the Brick as well. Uh, this, I think, is currently my favorite model on display in the Masterpiece Gallery. I love books and I love libraries, and this model has so many details. Just the scale of it is incredible. This is the Beauty and the Beast library here, and I love all of the gold in here. Just, just an incredible build, fantastic stuff. Here we see some great sculptures, some busts here. This is from George, so I love to see that. That Joker especially is great. Then from Aaron on the left here, you see some smaller models. So you start to see kind of some of the, the more detailed work and some of what you can achieve on a small scale with Lego. And then from Richard and Flynn, they were Lego Masters contestants in season one of the US show. So a lot of people might remember from them from that. This is a build called the Rite of Spring, and you see a lot of kind of Greek myth uh, inspiration for this layout here as well. They went really large scale with just one large comprehensive story here. Tons to take in here, lots of incredible details. I love that one as well. If we jump across to the next case, we've got Anu here, and this is a model we featured quite a few years ago. I believe she had this on display at BrickCon in Seattle. This was, I believe, from, uh, I think, uh, initially kind of inspired by Game of Thrones. Um, now it's kind of a general castle keep type scene. Here we see some great models based on some real life objects. You've got the camera, you've got the cassette player, and then, of course, your, your video game systems as well. But one of my favorite and super recognizable is this wooden train set down here, something that so many people had as a kid. I think that's really cool. Then on the left, we've got this model. You've got the, the one eye open there with, I think, like uh, an iPhone in the hand. Over here, you see some great roof techniques as you see the bananas on the top model there for the roof. And then down here, you see... Uh, the, the roof being blown away by the by the wolf here as it tells the story with the book. So really fantastic stuff. Then we come to our last case in the Masterpiece Gallery. This is by Joss over here. And these are really amazing sculptures, kind of mythical creatures. And just the parts usage here is incredible. You can look at these all day. And also just the kind of colors of combinations are amazing as well. Love to see that. Jessica has her large build uh, based on definitely kind of reminds me of the Hobbit in a lot of ways, but you've got the the horde of gold there and the knight, but a big battle about to go down, I'm sure, and then much more peaceful next to that with all these fantastic colors. Our final moder models are from Marius here, and he's got a nice character build, then with a large sort of temple pagoda type idea. And then the, the tree is almost kind of coming alive here. And you see that the head on the left side. Once again, great colors, combinations in that build as well. So these builds do change out every year. So no matter when you come here, uh, year after year, there's always going to be some new and exciting stuff to see in the Masterpiece Gallery, in addition to some of the other places where they display custom models. We are now entering the World Explorer section of LEGO House. And these are three massive build layouts that feature different types of world building. The one in front of me here on the stairs is your mountain building nature train area with a giant castle on top. And then, of course, the huge mountain and cliffside. And then lots of details all around the side to explore as you walk around. Tons of fun scenes to pick out here. There's just so much happening. And there's even lots of movement throughout the build and some lights as well. So... You can spend forever picking out fun details. In this whole layout, there's a giant sort of waterfall, river gorge coming down the middle as well. 
Then if you turn around, you come to the city portion. So something that's really iconic with Lego, I think all around the world, is city building. And lots of people from kids all the way to adults love building large buildings out of Lego. So that's what you've got represented here. And then of course you have the soccer or a football stadium for our non-American fans. And then you've got a fantastic parade here. I love the details on these different parade floats. These are super fun, representing kind of some older classic themes as well as just kind of underwater stuff in general. In addition to the city, you've got the lighthouse and some fun water out here as well. You can see some cranes and some new buildings going up. Once again, you get a bunch of lights in here that really kind of make things pop. Uh, one of the buildings is even kind of on fire there in the middle of the city. So it looks like they're on top of that and they've got things under control. As part of this harbor, you've got a giant cargo ship with a few different things happening inside here. Number one, a massive shipment of bananas is coming in. Then you've got them cleaning out the section with the rats and the trash cans in there. It looks like Metal Beard has maybe shown up into the city today as well. And then you've also got some Duplo characters making an appearance and You've got a big hole in the side of the theater there, so lots happening there. And then the final of the three large layouts in this section is the volcano, which also has a whole amusement park around it. Maybe not a great idea. We'll see how that ends for everyone here, but it looks like it'll be fun while it lasts. You also start to get some Duplo represented in this section as well. One of my favorite features here is the way that all the landscaping was done. Not only the volcano itself, but then also all of the trees and just adding tons of plants under there to really give that thick jungle type feel which is really fantastic. You get some really great ships around here as well from the large Duplo Pirate to this really nicely built and detailed ship here in front. Another part of this whole area is some more fan models. So one of the things that I've always loved about Lego House is the amount of space that they've given to representing uh, Lego fans and their custom Lego models. And so in this area, which is kind of the green section is what all of this is called, you see more custom models. These are from builders all over the world. So here we have Lars from Norway with a nice castle scene. One of my favorites in here is this one from Lane, who took the early wooden duck inspired model in 1932 and then kind of went through Lego history there. That's really fantastic. You'll see all sorts of cool stuff represented here. And then here's you got you got one for the 90th anniversary. Some of these builds I think are brought here because they were in contests from Lego. So there's all sorts of great stuff represented in this section. As we move over here to the left, we also have a stop motion section as well. And so this is where you can put your stop motion kind of film skills to the test. And you can see inside the box there, there's a few different cameras and you can build your scene and then record your whole stop motion video. So this is something that's kind of been a part of the community for a super long time. And lots of fun fans have loved making those stop motion films over the years. So that's this section here at Lego House. One of the super cool parts of the World Explorer section is that the lights actually cycle on and off to create kind of a day-night cycle. And at night here, you can appreciate the lights much more. From the castle up there to all the little lamp posts throughout the city and on people's houses. And then of course the lights on the amusement park carnival section over there. There's so much to appreciate here. Whether it's at daytime or nighttime, there's always more fun to be had. One of the new sections at Lego House since our last visit is the mood mixer section. So this is where you get to build a character that depicts your mood while you're going through Lego House. And as you can see on some of these builds that are here, there's all sorts of different moods that you can have going on. I'm in a great mood, loving our visits to Lego House, so I'm going to choose this guy. You slide it in the bottom here, and then you scan your wristband. And my name pops up and I'm able to hit the button and it will start to add it to the screen there. Now we haven't mentioned the wristbands really at all yet, but that's how you get around at Lego House and it's how you can save all of the incredible experiences that you have while you're here. And you can do lots of fun digital experiences and then it saves them on the wristband. There's also a huge wall of builds that people have done as well. So you can see some of the super fun characters that people have made here in the Mood Mixer section. And now you can see the character is on the screen up here, having a great time dancing its life away as you see all the other characters that people have built as well. So that's one of the newest sections here at Lego House. 
We've moved into the yellow nature section of Lego House, and there are beautiful butterflies flying overhead here. There are also wonderful flowers here as well, built by many different fans. And the Lego Botanical Collection has obviously become a super popular theme with Lego these days. You can see that represented all throughout Lego House here with all of these wonderful red and yellow and orange flowers that are built here. This is also a section with more custom built models from fans all around the world. So you've got this great turtle sort of hedgehog build there. I love this one with the symphony of sound and all the different instruments and colors. And then down here you've got stage entertainment and this kind of multi-level stage build with a performance going on. So all of these custom built models are just really, really neat. And I can't say enough kind of good things about these. I know I've touched on this a number of times, but it's just amazing to see all of these custom built Lego fan models here in Lego House. But then as you come over to the far side here, you can actually see the Lego fish tank section. and. This is where you get to build your own fish and then put it into a virtual fish tank. And this is something that's been here since Lego House opened. So some of this might look familiar, but it's still one of my favorite sections here because you get to take that fish. I can actually grab this one someone's built here and we'll see if this works. So let's try sticking that down in there. I might have to scan, if I scan my badge and then it should take a photo of the fish here. And then once it scans it, it takes it and there's lots of other fish that people have already built kind of swimming around in there. So this is similar to the mood, the mood mixer type idea where you take something physical and then it goes into a virtual world with all of the models from everyone else. And it looks like you have to kind of create here. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, I think you have to choose, there we go. A very quick face on our fish there. Now it swims off into the tank and you can see it swimming there from the side of the tank. So shout out to whoever left their wonderful fish build behind. That is the yellow section. The red zone is super focused on building experiences. So right off the bat in these cabinets, these are all models built by guests here at Lego House. So that makes it really cool because these were built by the bricks that you see all around you here as you walk through Lego House. And of course you've got some fantastic models, whether it's Mario there or a lighthouse. I love the giant yellow piano as well. Then you had that Iron Man that we were just showing. So lots of fun models here. And these were just built by bricks that are available here in the building areas in the base of the giant waterfall which we'll actually kind of walk around here and take a closer look at now as we do that you can see a massive build in process here on our right so this is some fans actually building themselves into the middle of their build with two by four lego bricks and then creating a whole world here with bridges and everything connecting up all their tables you can see the countless bricks all available throughout here and then of course the giant waterfall which is the highlight here as it cascades pieces out the side of the wall and down to fans to build below then there's a more formal build area to the right. This is all space themed. So right now it's build your spaceship. This switches kind of depending on the year and what they're focusing on. But right now people are building spaceships and all different spacecraft here in this section of Lego house. Then of course, you've got to have Duplo represented as well for some of the younger builders. But before we check out the Duplo section, I wanted to point out this fantastic pyramid there. I love that as well. Over here is the Duplo pit with a smaller waterfall, but still very impressive coming out of the wall there. And that's the red section. In the blue section of Lego House is focused on city and cars. And in this first section, you can see the jump tracks. And you've got a car that someone left here where it has kind of the test dummy on top. This is a great example of the types of stuff that people are racing all throughout Lego House. And in this blue section, so we will keep making our way around that. You can see lots of racers hard at work on their designs, racing down those tracks, trying to jump through the loops. Over here we have the Chugga Chugga Lego Duplo train builder section. So always something for those younger fans that are still into Duplo. Lots of city layouts there. But then as you get into the virtual city section, one of my all-time favorites here, this is where you take different colored plates and then you set them down and you have to create kind of the ideal city layout. And as you pull it up and set it down in different places, it creates new city layouts and so it's this great combination as we've seen kind of a few times now of physical and digital building coming together here and that's so much of what makes Lego House such a unique experience. Now behind you is also even more custom Lego 
models from fans all around the world. Here you've got the World Architecture Day and Lego House build. Then I love this Robots at Play, kind of remin reminiscent of the restaurant here, the Mini Chef restaurant where the robots serve you your food. You've got the 180 Years of Joy build here. Then on the way to Legotopia in their spaceship there. So just a smattering of some of the really fantastic models uh, on display here. Then we'll make our way around the corner here. And if you look out here, this is actually a new section since our last visit as well. So if you've seen our previous Lego House videos, you might remember there was the Arctic Explorer section. So this is the same idea where you program these robots. Only now, as you look around, it's all bee themed. And so those are uh, kind of beehives in the middle there. You've got bees kind of flying all over the place, lots of flowers decorating the wall. So you've got to work together uh, with the, the beehives in the middle there, and that's the challenge now. So they've kind of switched up the theming, but same basic experience and idea here from years past. I do love the lighting and that island build kind of in the middle there with all the plant life. We'll walk now around some of these taller skyscrapers. You can see it's color-coded because you've got to use the correct kind of combination of colors. Or in this case, you just sort of go all green as has happened here and have a very lush green city as well. That brings us back then to the uh, green section where you've got a minifig builder and then the large city models that we saw earlier. You do have some fun posters on the wall here as well and so that takes us through the different sections of lego house so those are the main interactive sections at lego house but one thing i wanted to point out is to keep your eyes peeled for lots of fun easter eggs and little tidbits along the walls and hidden throughout the house so this section right here is prototypes from the design phase of lego minifigs you can see the actual minifigs there on the left and then these are the much larger scale models as they're designing the minifig you get some of that glimpse behind the scenes here on the right as well with the corn cob man being from the great state of Indiana. This has always been a personal favorite minifig of mine, so it's great to see that design come together. And then you've got the the nurse here as well, so or veterinarian, sorry. So you really get to see kind of some some great behind the scenes look at how the design process happens while you're just exploring and having a great day here at Lego House. But now we can go down to the basement and take a look at some more Lego history like you see with these minifigs right here. We've come down to the basement of Lego House now. This is the History Museum section. And this is a section that's not super heavily advertised when you're walking around the rest of Lego House. So make sure you don't miss this because it's easy to forget it's down here in the basement. There are a ton of really unique early products from the early history of Lego. You can see a bunch of the wooden toys that they made when they first became a toy company. And it takes you through... A lot of the wooden toys, you can also see the, the duck model there inspired by the wooden duck. And now they've made the Lego set, which is one of the exclusive sets here at Lego House. So lots of fun uh, wooden toys. And then you even got some of the, the molding machines on display here. And you start to see some of the early models with the Lego bricks in them. That one there is from 1952. Some of the early versions of what Lego looks like today. Still making some of the wooden models with the Lego logo on it. And then coming into these little miniatures and you see the trees there, even the little people. So they really did quite a lot before doing the plastic bricks that people are so familiar with today. Now you can see kind of the, the Lego system. You start to see that logo there. And uh, in the, the 50s, they really start to uh, create more of what we're familiar with. This set down here is from 1958. Everything is labeled really nicely here, which is super helpful. And so as you walk through Lego history, it really makes it easy to see where the company has come from. Here's the super famous patent. And this has been built in brick form and been recreated in many ways over the years. So that is the, the brick patent from, I want to get this right here, January 28, 1958 is when that application is from. As we continue down around, we get into the early 1960s here, and you start to see some very kind of recognizable Lego items, the plates, the bricks, one by one bricks, some of the wheels, the tires, some of those things look very different, but you definitely recognize it as the early form of Lego today. 
You get into the houses here, still using some of those kind of strange trees, some non-looking Lego products mixed in, helicopters, trucks, some of your early train models here for all the train fans out there. And then you get Duplo here as well. And so Duplo, obviously a big product for Lego. This is from 1969 that Lego Duplo came out. Here's the gears. And you get into more of the Technic building when gears are introduced. Then early versions of Technic figures and heading towards that minifigure design that we're all familiar with today. There's also a whole giant room kind of in the middle of the basement here that's a sort of virtual archive. So you've got models on display all around the walls and in some of these middle sections here but then you can also go over to the screens and put together a virtual collection of all the sets that you've had and again this is where you can use your wristband to save that and go through your whole collection so there are lots of sets from all different eras on display in here it's a great way to kind of relive your childhood and see some of those old sets and then of course one of the most iconic lego models of all time is the yellow castle here from 1978 and then some of the iconic classic space sets from 1979 up there so the late 70s is so when you start to get some of really lay the groundwork for a lot of the classic themes that we're even seeing kind of revisited today in different ways now you see some more models here, kind of learning through play. You've got the duck models down here. These you actually see around the new LEGO campus headquarters, some large models of those. Here is Fabuland, one of the strangest things that LEGO has ever done, but also one of the most colorful and one of the most fun things that they've released. And the exact opposite of Fabuland is the dark gray, all of this castle here from 1984. Then you've got the monorail from 1987. Some of my favorite stuff, which is the Pirate Imperials of 1989. Here you're coming into the early 90s. I think this is Paradisa, yes, with those very strange colors, some unique base plates. Definitely uh, a very different theme for LEGO. Then you get some of the computer games, LEGO Island, LEGO Chess. Some of those things that if uh, you were kind of growing up in the late 90s, early 2000s, like I was, then you were playing that stuff and have a lot of fond memories of those. I would be remiss not to mention Galador, of course, here. I love that they have included Galador in this display case. And, you know, even even some of the less liked products they they still have on display here. And then you get into more kind of some of the early robotics, your Mindstorms type products. Of course, Star Wars comes in 1999, which brought in a massive new fan base to LEGO as well. Then you get into more IPs from Star Wars, Harry Potter, uh, and then Bionicle, uh, which uh, did so much for the company in the early 2000s as well. You got some of the, the sports products on display and themes that don't get a lot of attention today, but actually made quite a few. You can see some of the basketball figures there, some of their uh, early kind of space products that where they were doing things like the space shuttle and some of the, the rovers and explorers. You got some more Bionicle, uh, the Lego games, which is another theme that is often overlooked. Here's the very early, what was uh, at the time Kuso and then became Lego Ideas. And we're getting close to today now with some of these more recent models and themes like uh, Chima. I think you'll see some Ninjago mixed in here. You've got Friends. So things that are starting to look much more familiar. Lots of Minecraft as well. And all of this does a great job of kind of taking you through the history and evolution of these products. Here is the Lego House model itself from 2017, the kit that they created. And then taking us all the way to today. Some of the, the most recent display here is about the new headquarters building here that just opened in spring of 2022. Sadly, every trip to Lego House must come to an end eventually, but you do get a wonderful gift on your way out. You get six two by four red Lego bricks. There are over 915 million unique combinations of these six bricks. You can see some of those combinations on the wall here with some little quotes and signatures from some of the builders who have displayed here in Lego House. But then on your way out, you get to 
pick your very own six bricks over here. So if I walk up to this machine, I should be able to scan and it pops up with my name. They start doing the math and figuring out which combination of bricks I'll get. And I think it'll actually show up there on the screen when it comes up. But first, they've got to prepare everything here. And the animations and videos are super fun at Lego House. So that's part of the experience is just the super immersive aspect of it. And you can see it going through all of the possible combinations right now. Very powerful computer they have inside these machines here. Looks like it's really maxing out, and there's my combo, and it has the date I visited, which is super cool, so it's a great memory as well. And then I get that card, and I'm able to come over here and pick my bricks out of the big box here. And there's my six red two by four bricks. And you can even see the molding machine behind it here. And so these bricks are made right here at Lego House. Part of the experience is showing the molding process and how the bricks are made. You can see it's actively working right now, which is super cool. It's not always going in here. The whole process is happening right before your eyes as you walk around Lego House. And then you've got the special molding brick, one of the exclusive sets here. If you visit Lego House, definitely make sure that you pick up the various exclusive sets that are available here. There's also some keychains. That's great mementos from your visit. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have the opportunity to come out and check out Lego House and Bill in Denmark here. If you're a Lego fan, it's really the ultimate fan experience. You will have an incredible time. Thank you. In addition to all of the amazing experiences that you can have in Lego House, there are some fantastic exclusive products available here at the Lego store in the house. The most recent one is this wonderful upscaled Lego pirate minifigure. This was one of the iconic minifigures from the pirate line, one of my all-time favorite Lego themes. They've done such a good job capturing him here from his hat and the hook, even the large map. It's fantastic. So this is the most recent of the exclusive sets, but then we can walk over to the wall of exclusives. You can see some of the others that are available here. So you've got the Lego duck. This represents the original wooden duck from the early days of Lego when they were making wooden toys. It even has a nice kind of pull string there. Then you've got this master builder table and you can see the builder hard at work there with all of their models on the table as well. And they started to number some of these so you might notice that you can kind of go in order here. Uh, they also made the molding machine set, but I don't think that's currently available here at Lego House. You can, of course, though, get the house itself as an architecture set. So another fantastic model, super colorful, looks great on display. Then you've got some of these keychains. So you've got the shorter with the, the shorter legs here, kind of the kid keychain. You've got house uh, Lego House Home of the Brick as a brick keychain, and then you've got the adult keychain here as well that says Lego House. So all three of those are exclusives. So there's some really cool stuff that you can pick up here during your visit. Definitely make sure you pick up some of these exclusives to have as fun mementos from your visit here to Lego House. One of the other really cool things in the store here is because it's in Billund, you get some of the designers of these sets coming in and signing the boxes. So here with the Razor Crest, you can see the designer signature with the Adat as well. There's a number of others throughout the store that also are signed, like the Moss Eisley Cantina. And so if you want that extra special kind of treat with your set is to have it signed by the designer, you can walk in and just purchase those copies right from the store. You also, of course, have more amazing models all around the top of the store here. And you've, one of my favorites is definitely the Viking boat that's kind of over here in the corner. Then you're looking at some of the Thor kind of mythical models there as well. So there's lots of fun models. Then you get kind of the, the beach scenes and bridge and stuff over here on this side too. So there's lots of cool stuff, kind of a variety of themes represented around the store here. Then there's this kind of crazy looking pirate guy. I'm not sure where this came from, but you know, shout out to the builder of this because as we saw with the exclusive pirate model, pirates are amazing. So lots of fun stuff here in the Lego house store. I'm having a great time today. So let's take this one and we will put this model in here. I think you just slide it in like that, I believe, and it should add it to this wall up here. We'll see what happens here. Actually, I think you might need to set it right there. I wonder if you have to. No, that's not right. <laughs>